What's going on, everybody? You know, this is a very important message. Very important message for people uh, who want to know about God and getting blessed and stuff like that. Um, God, if you don't belong to God, that means if you ain't been in your prayers, if you don't, if you're not, if, if you're young, you don't, you might not know if you belong to God. Uh, you might be running from God. You might be trying to distract yourself or whatever. But you might belong to God when you're young. But you may not have received your test yet. What God does, what God does, I've been, I've been loving the Lord for a minute. And I have my own experiences and what happens, you know, when things, when this and that happen. And, uh, well, with walking with the Lord. And a uh, very important message when... If, if you are older, like if you're over, if you belong to God, then I'm, I'm pretty sure as you growing up, he'll have people be like, go to church or keep God first. He'll always be like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you'd be like, you know what I mean? So it's like throughout my coming up, I was, I grew up in church, went to church with my buddies and stuff. Sang in church. I was all in church. I was part of that the black culture when we was when the when the singers was coming out of the church era and stuff. So a lot of people in church at the time were you know want to be singers too. So church was a part of our thing in the black culture. You know what I'm saying in the '90s and 2000s and shit. But it's not now. So, but um, um, so yeah, if you're young, then he'll. You, you won't be able to see God, you feel me? So you might be like, you might not be able to find him, you know what I'm saying? Like you might look for him, but if you belong to God, he's going to, he's going to, if you already belong to God, he's going to raise you up and send you on missions to where you have to acknowledge him. You know what I'm saying? He wants to bring you, this is real shit. He wants to bring you to a point to where you and I'm 40 now, but I started thinking like this when I was like 30, some 35. The Lord's been bringing me up to this point. And so as you get older, the Lord will isolate you in situations, not, not where you're alone, but he'll make you, he'll put your back against the wall. Or put you, he'll lead you into a corner and you'll be like, What's in this corner? Why am I staring at a corner? He'll make it to it. He'll put you in dead ends. He'll lead you to dead ends. If he if he wants you to acknowledge him and be like, Lord, are you here? Or Lord, do you exist? You know, he'll he'll make it to where you're in your mind and you're like, what should I do now? You know, and then he'll be like, like that. So what I've noticed is kids... As we grow up, we get to do what we want to do. <clears throat> and when we when we start at a certain age, I'm not sure, but at a certain age, <clears throat> the directive, like when we're young, we're growing up like this, you know. But at a certain age, the directive goes like this. And people who don't rely on God are over here. And people who have relied on God and they do are over here. These people aren't all like, I'm into God, you know what I'm saying? But at a certain point in their life, <coughs> God broke them down. He broke them down to where they didn't have nothing. So a lot of people who are with God now who are like close to my age, you already been broke down. You already been on your knees, you know what I'm saying? And that was just the Lord being like this, like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have, I'm, I'm making you be in a position to where you have nothing. You either gonna have to kill somebody, turn to a douchebag and be grimy to get out of this shit, and I'm watching you, seeing what you do, or you're gonna call my name. That's what the Lord's like. And then if you call his name, he'll help you out. He'll bring you out of your bad situation. All right. It, it won't be really nothing you knew how to orchestrate or or why, or you you wasn't like sitting back and planning and then you got out of your situation. You was like, and then the Lord was like, he was like. What's up? You know, look over here. Okay. And then eventually you got out of your situation. If you belong to God, that means you belong to God. When you were at your lowest point, he pulled you out. You his now. Okay. 
Here's the thing though. Here's the thing. You can't play for both sides. So if you belong to God, that means he brought you down to your lowest point and he was like, how are you going to get out of this? I'm right here to help you. Like, are you ready to call on me for help or not? And if you call on him for help and he helped you, then he's your guide. He's your everything now. He's your provider, whether you know it or not. He's your everything now. You're on your way to becoming a holy roller, you know? Now, here's the thing. Everything that God gave you, if you belong to him, going forward, when you start to backslide and start to get more into your ego or you something happens and you get arrogant or you stop really going to God a lot and, you know, the Lord's watching all that. He's like, the devil's like, yeah, this and that. He's like, do this to him. And then the devil's like, all right. And then he do it. And then you go, if you act arrogant and arrogant and fuck and all this and that, well, y'all niggas ain't doing this. And the Lord's like, you know what I'm saying? I, I helped him out. Now look how he acted. You know what I'm saying? He didn't do none of that on his own. He begged me to help him. And you did because he brought you to a low ass point. Now, the thing like I was saying, if you start backsliding and messing up after you belong to God, if you don't belong to God, it don't matter because you already ain't living, living your full life. You know what I'm saying? The devil's got you. If you try to get out of the devil's hand, he'll, he'll do shit to pull you back in, all that shit. You more than likely haven't hit rock bottom yet. You feel me? And that's, and that's okay because you ain't made up your mind to follow the Lord. When you start getting God more in your life, he's going to deplete your ass. You going he wants to break you down to zero. I'm not saying he want to take everything from you like if you're not with God right now. But if you if you're not with God and you decide to get down with God, I don't even know if nigga can. But I'm praying. You know what I'm saying? People pray so hard in the Bible they change God's mind. That's what they said. So I'm praying for my family and everybody who who's out there that ain't with God. If you're not with God, though, you're in the devil's hand. You're already in the devil's world, okay? The people were born with you in, in the world, in the devil's world. Certain people, in God's hand came by. Who wanted to get, certain people jumped out and said, I want to get in your hand and got in. And these are the people that trust God for everything. Jobs, food, wives, all this shit. Fix the family problem, heal the past, hurt, all that shit. We jumped into his hand. We're like, for whatever reason, these people in God's hands see the light. You know, they're like, this is my only way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so that's where we at. If you not, if you didn't jump into God's hand from the, the world, you're still in the world. This is the devil's planet. It's the matrix reality. It's 77 percent of illusions, and the only thing real is God here. It's 33% of the pie. It's peace, the truth, and love. That's what you get if you follow God. He'll give that to you, and that's it. That's all you get. If you try to go past that on your own volition without getting blessed, you're going to be creating an error. You're going to be living a lie. You're going to be chasing a lie. I don't care how it looks. That's what you're going to be doing, all right? And this was prophecy. The Lord told me. He said, "This you're in the matrix reality. Expect 33%, and once you have that, be happy with it. Anything else, I don't even know if it'll escape the 33, but anything you get will be inside of that 33%. And it'll all be from God and you'll live a long life, all that shit. Um, people who die young are not with God, okay? You might, your mama and daddy might love the Lord and they may be praying for you, but at some point in your life, you said, fuck you, Lord, fuck God. You know what I'm saying? You said that shit and you died. You died young. I promise you. I promise you. Okay? And look at me for proof. Okay? I'm trusting God 100% with my life. If I die before I'm 80 or fucking 90, you could say, yo, God ain't shit. Because in this book, he said, I'll protect you. That's right. From accidents, from everything. Wisdom shows me that people dying young smited the Lord to the degree to where they didn't want to be in his hand. And he said, take them. The devil took them. 
Uh, the, keep in mind, the devil and God, they work together. I, God showed me this back in the day. He's like, the devil's like his guard dog or whatever. Like, remember in the book of Job, they were talking, God and the devil was talking. And he said, all right, fuck with him then, devil. He's like, yeah, you know, that's how it is. They're on the same side. God did not make nothing that's bad. Everybody is on the same fucking side, all right? I'm telling you, everybody's working together. And if it looks like it's a conflict, then some people have to grow up. You know what I'm saying? God's in control of everything. I still didn't make my major point that I was trying to make, but I'm going to say it now. If the Lord has broke you down to zero, Put your back against the wall. Put your face in the corner. If he did that to you, and the only way you got out of that was begging God, anything that you have, he can take from you if you start backsliding. Because God punishes his kids. He punishes his people. Okay? And the first thing that will happen to you is you'll start making mistakes or slipping or accidents. And that's you not being humble. All right, if you be arrogant in some way or have a thought that goes over here in an arrogant way, you might drop a plate or something where you might pour the coffee and it'll spill on you or, or the coffee grounds or some shit that you're used to doing. Angels, they're faster than us. If you about to slip on a step, they can go and do like that and make you step where you didn't even realize you was about to slip. Okay, so guess what? They seen you slip. And they seen that, them niggas watched you in slow motion slip because of your attitude. The greater it gets if you don't check yourself then, if you don't jump in God's hands and keep away from sin, pride, envy, jealousy, lust, all that shit. If you don't try to manifest none of this shit and you go back to love, peace, all the fruits of the spirit, then you're going to stop making accidents. I'm telling you, it's the truth. I've seen things that are faster and, and try to hide from us on this planet. I'm not going to go into that, but it's shit watching you. I'm telling you. I've seen it on a video before. I've captured some, a ghost watching me. That's what I'm saying. Motherfucker's faster than me, smaller than me, hiding from me better, all that shit. It's niggas watching you. I'm telling you, and God's in there. He's in there and helping you too and setting you up to slip too. My major point is this though. If you start to backslide, and that means go to the seven deadly sins, right? Do any of them, envy, jealousy, any of that. If you start to do that, you, God will make you have accidents. They might be small at first. The more you keep doing it, he's trying to remind you, hey, be, be a good person. I'm the one who saved you, remember? Be a good person. You have to do my will now. That's what you got to do. Okay, all right, I'll do it. If you don't, He's going to, if you actually make a mistake or hurt somebody or act in an arrogant action and you're like that, that, or this, and this, if you do something like that, God, if you hurt a person that is in God's hand and you in God's hand too, but you hurt this person, that means they're closer to God than you, but you still in God's hand. If you hurt a child of God, you're going to get punished. It might be small. You might lose some money. You might thinking you, whatever. You might lose. You're going to lose something. You're going to get punished. And you need to wake up and be like, damn, the Lord's my provider. <laughs> he pulled me out of that dark place. He pulled me out of Egypt. You feel me? Like, I got to keep this shit real. You feel me? He won't kill you, though. All right, if you belong to God, you are going to live a long fucking time. But I know a person in my life that I know, this person belongs to God, right? They belong to God, but for some reason, they are unhappy in God's hand. But when they were at a low point, God's punishing them. When they were at a low point, they didn't change on God. They begged God more. So now he said, all right, I'm your dad. But it's people in his hand, and it's, it's a, this nigga is miserable over here. I'm like, why are you so mad? You in God's hand. Because he's getting punished. You're getting punished. One, this one guy I know, man, this dude's been unhappy for years. Years. But he's still in God's hand. 
years of punishment years of punishment being punished if you do not belong to god but he gonna live though you see he going to heaven <laughs> He gonna have to pay more though. If you don't belong to God, you're not gonna get punished because <laughs> the devil is protecting you. <laughs> All right, but you will get judged. Somebody will look at you and be like, "He belongs to the devil," and it's gonna hurt your fucking heart because you're gonna be like, "Damn, he's right. I do." <laughs> yeah, if people who are not in God's hands try to hurt you. They ain't going to do nothing but push you to a judgment. They're going to push you into a corner to where you got to drop a judgment on them. And they're not going to like it. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to get punished. They're not going to get reprimanded. They're just going to get judged. And the devil is going to keep their ass. You feel me? You might be in the same spot for years if, you, if you're if under demonic influence. If the devil's got your ass. If he's got you like this, you might be in the same spot for years. Nothing changed in your life. You feel me? God don't act like that. God will bless you. God, God's going to move you. He's going to move you around. He's going to make you happy. He's going to make you want to give back to people. You know what I'm saying? So if you belong to God and you're not doing those things, you're getting punished. You are paying the fucking price. You're getting reprimanded. All right? You're sitting there getting spanked by God. And you're going to go and lay down and shut up. <laughs> yeah. Because you are fucked up. You that fucked up. To where you that badass kid. And then the dad said, well, get your ass out then. You got a fucking attitude? You a big man? Get out. And then you was like, the next day, you might have slept on the porch last night. You came in the next day like, dad, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? And he said, all right. And then now you in the fold. But guess what? You did so much bad. You're on punishment. You're on punishment now, man. You can't do this. You can't go outside. You can't do that. God's got you in punishment because at the end, after you pay your penance, you're going to be, your heart posture, I heard that a lot, is going to be in position to receive. <laughs> you're going to be in position to receive after you go through purgatory, basically, after you fucking pay for the shit you've done and keep doing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's just the seven sins, lust, envy, hate, murder, all that shit. Stop thinking about that shit. Think about the fruits of the spirit. Call on Jesus. You can't hijack Jesus. You can say Jesus and he'll give you the fruits of the spirit. But remember that. People of God, all right? I know I said a lot. But if you belong to God and you fuck up, if you go backslide, the seven deadly sins is down here. You reached God at a low point in your life and he saved you. Now you're in the middle. God over here, the seven deadly sins. You need to get back to God every day. Do some devotional shit to keep away. Jesus said, y'all need to pray so you don't slip into temptation. He was like, what are y'all doing? Pray. <laughs> pray. He was like that. Are y'all going to slip into temptation? And why is that? I just said it. This planet is the matrix, okay? You are outnumbered. It's 77% to 33. That's why God's people's heart posture is humble. That's wisdom just dropped in my head. That's why we have to be humble. This is not our planet. We can't be happy here, all right? <laughs> the only happiness you're going to get is 33 fucking percent. 11 of that is peace. Another 11 is the truth. Another 11 is love. All right? <laughs> um, now, if you do not belong to God, man, I wish the whole fucking world could hear this shit. If you, not, if you do not belong to God and you go to, you already over here entertaining the seven sins, right? And you, and you want to belong to God and you want to, He's going to break you down to where you end up. You're not going to get punished. He's got to make you see him clear. You feel me? He's got to make you see him clear. But if you can just grab his name, you know, and be like, Lord, don't forget me. I know I ain't the best. I know I ain't fucking perfect. I know. I know I fuck up. You, you made me born. You created me. So what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Lord, please help me. If you do that. 
I don't care what situation you in. <laughs> And you really mean it, like, not, not to you, you really mean it, but God's looking at you and you like, and you like, oh, Lord, help me. He's like, I think he's telling the truth. <laughs> I think he really, I think he really ready to listen to me. You know what I'm saying? If it happens like that and you say, yeah, I am, even, even if it's a split second and then the, all the bombardment come in and the demons come, the devil's come. What's happening? Hey, what you doing over there? And then you like, all right, what, what? you get pulled back, right? You get pulled back into the world you was in, right? God heard you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. God heard you. But guess what? You finna get broke down. I'm telling you. You cannot keep everything that you stole from people. You can't, you can't keep everything. You can't keep the blood money. You can't keep the drug money. You can't keep that shit. God is going to take, give the devil what's his. All right. You may not even, you may not even be feeling no punishment or nothing. It's another day for you, but you lack God. You lack the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and then something happened. Oh, Lord, please help me, Lord. And now God's like, the devil's like, what's up? I, I was trying to get him to do that. He didn't do it. Are you trying to help him now? And then he said, it took you long, that long to figure out I was helping him now? <laughs> he goes, Damn. He said, so this one of yours now? He said, I got him. He said, all right. And that's how that went. That's how that went. Now the, now the Lord, the God of hosts, <laughs> Jehovah is his name. Now he's going to make you <laughs> his son. Yeah, but he's going to break your ass down <laughs> to where you can see him clearly. All right. If you could just hear his voice and you say, Lord, help me. Like, and it's real. He sees you being sincere. He's going, you, he's going to put his hand on your, on your life now. And he's going to take everything you have, every fucking thing that don't belong to you. Everything I got now is my shit. It was given to me by God. This is my shit. The Lord is going, if you amassed anything and it's your time to come to God, guess what? You finna lose it all. You finna lose it all. All right? And what you get, when you start to get, it's going to be from God. But he's going to give you him first. He's going to give you him first. The more sincere unbelievers Call on God in times of need. And that's more people finna give the devil back what's his. Uh, a, a motherfucker finna get kicked out of their house. Motherfucker finna get homeless. Motherfucker finna go to jail. That's right. God is depleting your ass. He gonna send you somewhere to where you don't got shit. All right? You gotta give all that shit back to motherfuckers who it belongs to. It's not it don't belong to you. You didn't get it in truth. Nothing you get is yours unless God gives it to you, man. I don't give a damn, man. All right? You Diggy Simmons and living Russell Simmons, Manson and all that, if you don't, if you ain't praising the Lord, I know he's red run, but if he, if Diggy Simmons ain't in God's hands and he decides to one day, that means everything he's gained in this part has been his own wit. God ain't never blessed the nigga. You feel me? The devil has. Here, nigga. Hey, she in the devil's hands, you in the devil's hands, you try to fuck her. The devil want to use you for some other shit. He whispering at her ear. Might as well get that. And hey, how you doing? What's happening? They both doing that shit. Devil. The devil. If the devil and God did not work together, Book of Job, your ass would be dead instantly. Instantly. You. Why? Why, why, why would the devil want you around? You feel me? No. It's a conditioning. You come to the planet to pass a test. All right? <laughs> The devil and God are working together, all right? 
There ain't nobody higher than God, okay? It ain't the devil versus God. <laughs> it's some Jesus, the good cop, and the devil, the bad cop. That's right. <laughs> All right? They both want you to respect the Lord and respect God. The devil, if, if he can't fuck with you and fuck you over, he, if you go to God, he's going to be like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You ain't his no more. He can't help you. He can't hurt you. None of that. All the shit you got from the devil, you finna lose it. The devil looked at God said, he's mine now. The devil said, Pff. let me go fuck with these niggas that God said it was okay to fuck with. All right? The Matrix. God said it was cool to fuck with Job. What you think he doing to everybody who ain't in God's hand? The same permission was given to the devil that he, when he gave it to Job, the same shit, all right? But what I've learned and seen is God wants you to be, he wants to be your everything. He wants to be your everything. I urge you to come to God because everything you got on your own ain't shit, ain't shit no way. Oh, petty ass shit you got, boy. You come with God, man, he gonna break you down Put you on a diet type of shit, like some rehab shit from the world. You're going to go through rehab, ugh, like Chris Rock, my fucking Pookie. They was dragging Pookie <laughs> into rehab on New Day. Ah, help me, get me out of here. That's God, take him, y'all. got to get all that shit out of the system. That's what he's going to do to you when you come to him. Now, imagine... If Pookie, before he went into the rehab, if, if the cop, if IC was like, man, you right. Let me just, I'm going to give you some more shit to smoke. You know what I'm saying? Just be an informant for me. I'm going to keep you getting high. You right. You need that hit? All right, come on, man. I got you. I'll get you another hit here. Just help me take this Nino nigga down. You feel me? <clears throat> All right. That would be the devil. Ice-T represented God's side in the movie. He was like, something about this Chris Rock pookie cat. Man, let me try to help the nigga, you feel me? Put him in the rehab, helped him, all right? Now that was a movie and shit, but <laughs> what I'm saying is if you down with God, he ain't gonna kill you, he ain't gonna let you die. <clears throat> if you not in God's hands, death is at your door every day, okay? And if, and if the devil don't kill you, then he's using you. You, you. you must be some powerful influence. Not really powerful, but like some big influence. You must be an influencer. You know what I'm saying? You must be able to reach motherfuckers. So he's he going to bless you. It's going to be little shit. You're going to get little blessings. You want to do some bad? All right, here. Go ahead. Stay thinking like that, dumbass. Keep on. <laughs> you fucking stupid. Hell yeah. Come on. What you need? Damn, you wish you had this so you could do that? Well, you ain't suffered enough on that one. You're going to have to mob boss. You have to put in some, do some favors before I give you another blessing, man. You want another blessing quick. You're going to have to take from some motherfucker. Go, sit, go over here and do this hit. Then go over here and drop this dope off and then come back. I'll hook you up with some money or something. And you do it. <laughs> you do it. You ain't getting no love, no God, and God's watching you all the time like Okay? If you're watching this video, it's, this is for you. So, I mean, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's true. You, Somebody's wrestling for your soul, but I'm telling you, uh, what I'm seeing now is, is sinners, like, are you, are you okay with having what you have? Are you afraid to start all over? Even if it's in God's hands? Are you afraid to trust God? You feel me? Man, you don't get nothing dealing with the devil. It's just like working for the mob, man. You're going to get fed. You're going to get some nice clothes. They're going to throw you a bitch to fuck. And then you're going to be expected to put in work. That's it. Not on God's side. God's going to make you live in heaven, like the Garden of Eden, as much as he can while on earth. You're not going to be all in everybody's face and shit. You're not going to be winning at life and shit. You're not gonna look like 
a winner or nothing. You're not gonna be fucking rich or nothing like that. You might have money, but you're gonna be real. You're gonna be humble. You're gonna be living in the matrix, helping motherfuckers get saved. That's all you do here. It's a test every damn day. And the harvest is right, like Christ said. So bring these people over to God. Yeah, they're going to have to be true and real the whole way. You can't get no million dollars killing a motherfucker and then be with God the next day because you're so scared. He ain't going to let you keep that money. If you real, really want to get with God, he's going to take you. Take that money. He's going to take everything from you until you have nothing. And you have to start all over with him. Yeah, that's true. But the main thing, and I'm gonna cut this shit short because I know people are scared of long videos, but the main thing is if you are, if you love God and you had that moment where you're like, Lord, help me, Lord, help me. He broke you down and he saved your ass. If you start messing up and going back, backsliding, going towards the devil's way and what the devil wants to do, you first gonna start slipping up. Then you might have a little mini accident or something like that. And the harder you go against God, the harder he's gonna punish you. I'm telling you. He's going to punish your ass. All right? But yeah, just remember that. And, and, and if you don't belong to God and you're in the matrix, like, hey, give me some steak. Let me go fuck some prostitutes. Like, damn, man, you love this shit, huh? This matrix shit. <laughs> if that's you and you finally see the light, strap up, man. Buckle up. <laughs> get ready. Get ready. God finna make you get out of your situation quick all right strap your motherfucking seat belt but he gotta break you down like he broke pookie down if you just come in fresh out the world yeah man you gotta get all that shit out of your system so you can be able to love him properly and shit so you can be right you're gonna be one of his kids all right and you're going to have eternity. That's the reward. Eternity. I'm living an eternal life. I don't even fucking remember myself. I don't even know what the fuck I want to do. <laughs> For real. I'm just becoming more loving. More filled with life. More fucking, hey, what's up? You heard about Jesus? Hey, what's up, y'all? Jesus loves you. <laughs> I'm like blinded by the light right now. <laughs> For real. And that's how it's going to be. Because that's the truth. That's what it's supposed to be. It's because it's the matrix. If, if this was my our real home as saints, then you could set goals. Then you could, I'm going to be happy today. Yeah, you could do that. I'm going to go across town. I'm going to go across the country and go meet my family over there and have a good time. Yeah, then you could build and establish shit. But it's not like that here. This is like, uh, you could call it a hell. You could call it a hell, but it's kind of like that, you know? So it's... One thing to know is you're eternal, so in heaven or in your home, you're not going to die. So you born and die here. So that means that you're going to enter and exit this, this thing, and it's the matrix. So anyway, all right, so let me recap. Very important. If you belong to God and you start messing up, he's going to punish you. He's going to beat your ass down. Beat your ass <laughs> down. I know somebody... That belongs to God, and he's living his whole life getting punished. But if he did not come to God when he did, he'd be dead. <laughs> I feel like his ass would have been dead. If you don't belong to God and you want to come to God, buckle your seatbelt because he's going to take all that dope out of your life. Everything you gain, cheating and shit, doing the devil's will, he's going to take it from you. They, that's the devil and God working that deal out. <laughs> I'm going to rape all this shit. Let me rape them real quick. Take all that shit from them. Strip them. That's what raping is, is when you just take take everything away. So it's like, let me do that. And then, all right, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, come on, man. You think the devil can come up with some shit that, it don't, that God don't know? <laughs> that's impossible. If you think that, you don't believe in God, and I do. <laughs> so... It's all good. But yeah, okay, remember the point. People who are in God's hands and people who are not. If you are not, you're in, you looking at life like this is your life, all right? You can't see that it's the matrix. The people in God's hands, I don't know if you, but he should tell you the truth. They live like they're in the matrix. The people who aren't in God's hands and are with the devil, they live like this is, earth and this is their life this is my life you know that 
the devil is blessing these people that's in his world and want to play his game, all right? He, he'll bless you to do more of the sins, all right? And the minute you ain't no good to him no more, he's going to kill you like the mob, like I just said. The people in God's hands, they get God's blessings, but he already took all the, all the mob blessings out. He took your house, that girl who was a cutthroat bitch, he took her away. Now he get, he's going to give you what he wants you to have, all right? And you're not going to have a lot, but you're going to have everything plus more. And it's going to be way more than you could ever get on your own. If you want to get out of the devil's hand and get into God's hands, he's going to take everything from you. If you're in God's hands and you want to get to the devil, that's impossible. That don't never happen to niggas. <laughs> After you with God, you with God. <laughs> You're just going to get the fuck, punish the fuck out of you if you try to go over here again. You're just going to get beat the fuck up to where you are a humble motherfucker. you like, yeah, I'm right here. I'm all right. Yeah, I'll be all right. <laughs> you're going to fully know what the fuck you did, why you fucked up, and you're getting punished. Okay? So, if you, if you are in the devil's hand and not in God's hands, and you start fucking up, it don't matter. You won't even make no mistakes or you won't even know. You already fucking up. But you will find out if you try to if you try to fuck with God's people, if you try to give them any anything, you know you fucking up. You know you you're talking to God's people when they judge you, when they look at you and you you arguing with them enough, you getting on their nerves enough and then and then they like and they just say what you are. And you, and then that makes you go like, oh, damn, you know? They just judge you. They just basically said the truth to you. That's all a judgment is, is the truth that people hide from them, you know? So you're gonna get judged. You're gonna have to live with that judgment. You're gonna have to act like that's who you are if you stay in the devil's hands. If you don't, if you wanna have an eternal life and enjoy an eternal life like I'm living now, I'm not coming from myself. I'm speaking from my spirit, from the eternal spirit. That that's where I'm going to be. You know, we're in heaven where every one of my family members hopefully will be too. I'm praying. I'm praying for everybody. But the main thing, take this if you don't take nothing. God's people, when they mess up, they get punished. If you're in the devil's hands and you mess up, Good. That's what he wants. But if you cross paths with God's people, you're going to get judged. And while you fucking up, you're going to get judged. People going to be like, he ain't shit. He ain't, he's this. You're going to get exposed, I guess. That's what people are saying. But it's really a judgment. It's really a judgment. Um, that people don't like. They can't accept it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, that. Okay. And when you get punished, you're going to lose some shit. God's going to take some shit just like a parent. He's never going to kill you, though. He's going to keep your ass. The opposite of the mob family. This is the mob family. This is God's family. Use you up. Use you up. Kill you in the end. God, protect you. Protect you. Give you stuff. Keep you out of shit. Give you stuff you need. Protect you. Protect you. Give you stuff you need. Keep you out of shit. The devil, the mob. This is our world. Yeah, kingdom on earth. Gold, rubies. Hit this man. Go hit that. Go collect the money from the whole house. Yeah. Hey, man, you did a good job. Let me give you a million dollar bonus. Fuck yeah. You you took that million, did some more devil. R. Kelly got a mansion and invited five more bitches in there to fuck and beat up and rape and sodomize. The devil's like, yeah, that's my guy. <laughs> you know? If R. Kelly was in jail or whoever was with the devil, wherever they was, and they said, fuck this shit, dog. Lord, I'm so sorry. Just keep me. And, and you for real, he gonna go like that and, and you won't die. You might get fucked up <laughs> depending on how bad you was, but you ain't gonna die. God don't kill. He don't kill people. He lets the devil kill niggas that don't love him. You feel me? All right, I just had to make this video. Uh, I want to speak loud and clear on it. This is all about God and 
and his love. And I just want to tell the saints that, all right? All right, so cool. Peace and love.